We're going to get started right away right now with our problem uh, with the uh, with our lesson. So today we are doing module 4, lesson 27. And your learning goal is we're going to take everything we know about dividing fractions and now put it into a word problem context. So we're going to use it to help us so solve word problems. All right, Ms. Haley, what's this question asking us to find? Good. We're trying to figure out if Mrs. Silverstein bought three cakes and she's cutting each cakes into quarters, how many guests can each get a quarter? Okay. So the important information we know is she bought three mini cakes. She cuts each cake into quarters, meaning each cake gets cut into how many equal size pieces? Four. Four. And each guest will get one quarter. Okay. Also, we need to draw a model. So a model is just any type of picture. It could be a tape diagram. There's one cake. There's another cake. And there's your third cake, right? It could be one big tape diagram where there's one cake, two cakes, and three cakes. It could be three circles. It could be anything, right? Now, whatever kind of model you draw, each cake needs to be cut into how many equal size pieces? Four, because they're in quarters. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If I was drawing one big piece of tape, there's my one cake, two cakes, and three cakes. I could show that it's been cut into three pieces, or sorry, into four pieces like that, right? So do you guys see how these two drawings both show the same thing? Now, how many guests can each get a piece? All I need to do is count the pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many guests can each get a piece? Twelve. Twelve guests. Now, the question doesn't ask you to do this, but can you write a division equation that's represented by this um, problem. What would our whole be? Three, because how many cakes are we starting out with? Three. We're dividing it into what sized pieces? One fourth. One quarter, yeah, one fourth. So this equation would be three divided by one fourth is equal to twelve. Okay, this question is asking us to figure out what fraction of the original cake each of the four people will receive. And Nanya, what important information do we need in order to figure that out? Okay, he has one-sixth of his cake left. He's going to share it with three friends, but this time, is he going to eat some too? So how many people all together are sharing the cake? Four. And then, is there any other important information we need? Huh? Okay, well, we know that we're sharing it with four people. So could I get ready to solve it? Okay, what's my hole? How much of the cake do I have all together? One sixth. one sixth of the cake. And I'm dividing that one sixth, splitting it into how many pieces? Four. Four equal size pieces. Okay. So is there any other important information I'm missing to get full credit on this question, Ananya? It's important also to know that we need to draw a picture. Okay. So <clears throat> let's start by drawing the whole cake. Do we still have the whole cake left? No. no, we only have what fraction of the cake? One so we have to split it into how many equal size parts? Okay. How many lines does that take? Five. Good. That's the tricky thing, you know, but you guys got that down. Good. And then let's lightly shade in one-sixth of the cake. Right? Now that one-sixth of the cake is being split into how many si in how many pieces? So one, two, three, and four. And there's your model, okay? Now, one friend gets this one piece, right? So that's one piece out of how many total pieces? 24. So what fraction of the entire cake does the friend get? 1 24th of the cake. Good. Does that tell you how big that piece is? <clears throat> if, if the original cake was only this big, would 1 24th of it be very big? If the entire cake covered this entire room, would 1 24th of it be very big? No. So it doesn't tell you the size of the cake. It just tells you what fraction, how much of the original cake you get. Does that make sense? Good. Very good. The first question is asking us to figure out how many fifths will he have. Okay. What important information, let's do one question at a time. What important information will we have need in order to figure out how many fifths he has? Kish? Okay, we know he has four pieces of rope. 
Does it matter that each piece of rope for this question, that each piece of rope is one meter each? No. What else do I need to know? He cuts them into fifths. So if this is one piece of rope, how many pieces do I get if I'm going to cut it into fifths? Five, right? One, two, three, four, and then there's five. So there's five pieces in one rope. But how many ropes does he have? How many? Four pieces. He has four ropes, right? So how many pieces will there be in four ropes? Everyone? 20. So how many fifths will he have? 20 fifths or 20 pieces, okay? I guess we can call it fifths. So there's five fifths in one rope, so then there would be 20 fifths in four ropes. Do you guys agree? Now, if this rope is one meter long, okay, the second question is asking us to figure out how long will each of the fifths be in centimeters? It's important to know that it's centimeters. So this is one piece, don't you, don't you guys think, right? What fraction of a meter is that? One fifth. So one piece, one small fifth of rope is one fifth of one meter, right? Okay, so let's do some conversions. That equals to one fifth copies of how many meters? Yeah. One meter. But I'm trying to change it to what unit? So that equals to one-fifth copies. One meter is the same as how many centimeters? 100 centimeters. Can you do the rest by yourself? Yeah. Go ahead and do it. The answer would then be how many centimeters, everyone? 20 centimeters. Very good.